What is up? This is your LA in a minute. And they say dinosaurs don't exist anymore. Unless you're driving on the 10 through Cabazon. That's where you'll find these dinosaurs. One of the most famous roadside attractions in the United States. Seen by more than 12 million people every year. And though these dinosaurs don't come from prehistoric times, they've been in the desert for more than 50 years. And they just might be more popular than ever. Let's get into it. So the massive dinosaurs are the brainchild of sculptor, artist, restaurateur Claude Bell, who began construction on Diny Abrontosaurus in 1964. Bell was the son of a glassmaker, and he grew up on the beach of Margate City and Atlantic City making intricate sand sculptures. And he honed his craft working in front of a building shaped like an elephant on the boardwalk named Lucy the Elephant. Now these sand sculptures were intricate and they were artistic and he would travel to state and county fairs across the country creating sand sculptures, eventually settling in Buena Park. He made decent money off his work and by 1946 he bought an 80 acre plot in Cabazon for $5,000. His work was discovered in 1947 by Walter Knott who wanted Bell to come to his theme park to create sculptures. Walter Knott wanted Bell to make something more sturdy than sand sculptures, so he commissioned him to make these steel sculptures which still stand today, Handsome Brady and Whiskey Bill. By 1951, Bell's work was so appreciated that he opened the portrait studio at Knott's along with his daughter and his wife. But Bell's mind kept going back to that land in Cabazon. He began living part-time on the land in 1952 with visions of running a truck stop, so by 1958, he opened the Wheel Inn Restaurant. But Bell kept having visions of Lucy the Elephant and started to get inspired anew. Without contractors or a proper construction company, he spent the next 11 years completing Diny along with engineer Ralph Titus, first directed as a steel framework over an expanded metal grid and was formed in the shape of a dinosaur and covered with coats of spray on concrete. When all said and done, Diny is 150 feet long and weighs over 150 tons, and it costs $300,000 to build straight out of Bell's pocket. Now, the original vision was for the dinosaur's eyes to glow and the mouth to spit out fire at night, and Bell said it'll scare the dickens out of a lot of people driving over the pass. That didn't exactly come to fruition, but another dinosaur did, a Tyrannosaurus rex named Mr. Rex, which was started in 1980 and completed throughout the decade. In 1985, the dinosaurs were immortalized in Pee-wee's Big Adventure, and the dinosaurs became a bona fide tourist attraction and led Bell to want to turn the land into an amusement park. Unfortunately, Bell passed away in 1988 before he could see that happen, but by 1992, his wife Anna Marie pushed forward with his plans for Dinosaur Village. Now, unfortunately, that never happened either, and the land was sold to Gary and Denise Kantner, who did open a museum, a Creation and Earth History Museum, a museum about creationism. Hmm. But by 2017, the creationist material was removed, and it just became again a dinosaur theme park. Since then, more dinosaurs have been added, none to the same scale as the originals by Bell and Titus. But the dinosaurs are simply what Bell intended all along, a roadside attraction, a tourist magnet, and an amusement park. So dinosaurs really do exist, at least out here in Cabazon, in one of the most popular attractions in all of California. All right, Desert, it's been a minute.